Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a in-depth overview of how I use my bullet journal alongside my digital calendar, which is the Google Calendar. And yeah, today I'm gonna go over the entire system, what my iCalendar looks like, how I've customized it, how I use it with my bullet journal, and kind of how those two interact. And I'll just be sharing all that stuff with you today. So kind of a different view. We're gonna be moving the bullet journal aside and I'm gonna be bringing in my computer here and also sharing my screen so you can see exactly what I'm showing you guys. All right, so this is my computer. It is a laptop <laughs> and on it right now I have my iCalendar which I'm just going to put as a share on the screen so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So in case you're unfamiliar with how the Google Calendar looks, I apologize, I might accidentally call it an iCal because that's just um, what I used to use, but this is a Google Calendar and if I refer to it as an iCal, know that I'm actually talking about this guy, the Google Calendar. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty simple calendar. You have kind of a week view on the right side, which you can turn into a monthly view by just using some hotkeys and pressing the M button. And on the left side, you have a nice little calendar overview on the left hand side. And then you have down beside the calendar here, your calendars, which is just kind of different calendars and color coding that you choose to use for different types of events in your life. So that's kind of what the Google Calendar looks like. And right off the bat, you'll probably notice that I've gone pretty custom with my calendars and my color coding. So I will just put up on the screen right now my calendars and the hex codes that I use for them. So if you are interested in any of the colors, you can just take them and use them in your own personal calendar. You'll see that a couple of them are unchecked. Reminders and tasks are preset Google Calendar defaults and there's no way to delete them. So that's why I've just unchecked them. And then the rest of them that are checked are ones I used. So going from the top, I have a calendar for this YouTube channel, Caitlin Gray. I have a calendar for birthdays, deadlines, family, personal, self-care, survival, which is what I use for scheduling in lunch breaks, dinner and regular breaks. And then I have work, which is my job outside of Caitlin Gray as a designer. I also have subscribed to two other calendars. So these ones are not made by me. They're made by someone externally. And then I just subscribe to them to be in my monthly calendar. And these are my holidays in Canada because I live in Canada. So I need to know when my holidays are and then phases of the moon since I find that stuff really interesting. So those are all the color codes I use. The reason why I use so many different color codes and calendars is because I do like to be able to see based on color what kind of things are going on in my week and month. And I really like color coding and time blocking. So that's where these different calendars come in handy. So that's a quick overview of my calendar setup and the things I've done to kind of customize this calendar to work best for me. Besides the color coding, I thought I would go through how I use this with my bullet journal on a monthly basis, as well as how I use it week to week and day to day, since those two times are more when I tend to be using my Google Calendar with my bullet journal. So starting with the month, I'm just gonna try to have both these open at once here. If you're unfamiliar with how I plan my month, I'll put a monthly plan with me video up in the cards. If you're familiar with my channel, you may have heard me say that I don't actually plan my month in my bullet journal. I plan my month in my Google Calendar. And the reason for that is this. As you can see on the screen here, this is a view of my May in my Google Calendar. There's a lot of events going on. There's a lot of stuff. And for my lifestyle, it just wouldn't be realistic to try to cram this into my bullet journal and it would just honestly stress me out. So instead I prefer to kind of plan my month and have those future dates in digital form. And then what I use my bullet journal for each month is to record birthdays as well as monthly highlights. So at the beginning of the month, the one thing I do like to transfer from my Google calendar to my bullet journal is birthdays. So I'll look for birthdays, which is this kind of dark blue color 
and I will scan the month to see if I have anyone's birthday that I wanna write down. Funny story, in May, I actually don't know <laughs> where I don't have any birthdays I don't think I need to write down. I might be wrong on that, but yeah, usually I have a couple birthdays to note down though. Besides my monthly view, which, you know, I use my Google Calendar for that a little bit, but I would say most of the action happens on the weekly spread, which is this guy here. So I normally have my Google Calendar open on the week view most of the time. I don't normally look at it on a month view unless, again, I'm planning my month. But on the week view, I like to use this on Sunday with my bullet journal to kind of go ahead and plan my week. And how I do that is I go to the current next week. It usually looks blank like this. I'll throw a screenshot up for you. I always have when I wake up already on there, I have my lunch time blocked in and then I have my wind down periods and then any other kind of things going on like the moon phases or if there's a TV show coming out like uh, this week I'm showing you RuPaul's Drag Race The Winners All-Star Season is coming out which I am super pumped for and then I also have deadlines so this YouTube video is up here. So I have this blank canvas if you will and at the start of the week, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and populate it with any other events I might not have written down. Usually this is things like my workouts, which I don't know what I'm doing till the week of. Some meetings are a bit more last minute, so I'll throw those in. Coffee chats, all of that good stuff. And once that is in, and I have kind of a overview in my Google Calendar of what is going on in my week, then I will go into my bullet journal and I will plan out my weekly task list. So I'm not going to go too much into how I break down my week, but I will say that I do go into my Google Calendar. I look at the events and I see if there's anything I need to do before an event or to prepare for an event or anything like that. And if I notice anything of that nature, I will then put it in my week so that I make sure I don't forget it. So that kind of interaction of looking at my weekly events and then if they have any weekly tasks associated with them putting it in my week in my bullet journal is kind of how my google calendar and bullet journal interact on a weekly level now the other way i use my google calendar besides on a monthly basis and a weekly basis is on a daily basis since i use daily logs which let me just show you Fun fact, I don't actually do my like stamping headers till uh, like the weekend usually when I'm just relaxing and watching TV because during the week I just got to get down the tasks or my brain is just not going to work. So this is how a usual weekly daily log kind of looks once it's all completed. And these daily logs are very in line with the bullet journal method. The only difference is that they are a dig per page, just because I find that works better for my brain. And how I like to daily log with my Google Calendar is at the beginning of the day, I like to go into my bullet journal, I turn to the next page, and I will just start listing out all of my daily things, my task list, any notes, and this is where the Google Calendar comes in. I will look at my Google Calendar and see if I have any events happening that day. And this is the only time, besides I guess my monthly birthdays, that I actually copy anything from my Google Calendar into my bullet journal. And that is when I have an event going on that day. I will write it down in my daily log, just so my daily log is a really comprehensive overview of the day, since this is really where I plan my day from. And besides that, that is kind of how I plan with my Google Calendar and my bullet journal. It's really simple and that's kind of why I haven't made this video to be honest. I didn't think that anything mind blowing was happening, but a couple people asked what I did. So I thought that even though it was simple, I would still go ahead and share it in hopes that it would maybe help someone. So that is my system. That is how I do it really easy, really simple. I will make sure to include the hex codes for my calendar in the description. And if you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments 
and I'll make sure to answer you there. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed seeing my kind of digital and paper planning system. And besides that, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.